This is Gene, and right now I'm going to do Mario Kart. I mean, Mario Hoops 3-on-3. Three three. I really screwed that one up, didn't I? This game, well, it's another Mario sports game. Specifically made for the DS, and only for the DS. Uh, what I'm disappointed in this game is that it doesn't stay loyal to the actual game, unlike other Mario games. Okay. They have a whole bunch of practice things. It's basically fundamentals. Uh, do a rebound, do a rebound dunk, you name it. You can even free practice all this without getting scored for it. You can do the basic Mario Hoops rules without doing any advanced Mario Hoops rules. And special shot. Special shot makes you feel special, doesn't it? No, I don't want him. Okay. Everybody has their own special shot. It's mostly with an M, but some are like B's. If they're like Bowser or something, they'll use B's. So you basically have to tap a letter on the stylus two times. And watch the magic. makes you do that three times and if you do it from half court what you have to do is you do that and you throw it to somebody and they score it for you okay there's dribble time trial which I'm not gonna go over you basically get one yeah I, I might as well just go over it screw it Uh, here I'll do Peach's Castle. What you do is you try and beat the clock. You're going to have to get 100 coins. And to do this, you have to tap down with, with your stylus to dribble. And you do it on the question marks to get coins. Sorry for the disturbance, that's my bird. And you do that, and once you get 100 coins, you cross the finish line. This game supports left and right-handed people. No, screw the tournament. If you're left-handed, you can play, uh... Like this. But since I'm right-handed, I'll play like this. You use the D-pad to move and uh, uh, L button is to do other certain things. Okay, there are a total of 16 courses. Well, I wouldn't really call them courses, I'd call them places to play. Mario Stadium, Basic Stadium, Koopa Beach, Peach Field, and Sunset Beach, which is Koopa Beach without cannonballs firing at you. DK Cruiser, Luigi Mansion, and Daisy Garden. Right here, to get that, you have to dunk three times on the daisy. Yo, shut up! Sorry, I had to turn off the music for them to shut up. Wario Factory, Junior Street, that's a slot machine place. Bowser Castle, and to get, uh, Glare Desert, what you have to do is play in Junior Street and get over 1,000 points. Okay, I'm just going to go to a level and do some basics. You pat, you do everything with the touch screen. Another game built off the touch screen. People have different characteristics, like Donkey Kong goes really slow, and it's like, it's like in Mario Kart, it's like, you can go really slow at first, and then you'll, and then you'll get fast, yeah, it's sort of like that. There are items, if you step on the block, no outs, and y your teammates do absolutely nothing. They're, they can't even use their items to, like, throw at people or something. And if they do, they do it when you have the ball, and if that happens, something will go wrong. Okay, if you go down and like that, you'll do a fake, as they call it. If you push up. When the ball is up and it's almost about to score, you can do a rebound. Uh, 
L is to switch your characters. You move the stylus over to some character to pass. You press L. Ah, oh, crap. Come on, press the L button. My L button sucks. It's not gonna pass. Okay, to do an L, if you hit with the L button, you'll do an exact pass. Mine doesn't do that right now. Uh, whatever. Whole bunch of items and how you get get points is different. Uh, twenty points is for inside the uh inside the three point line and outside the three point line is uh thirty points and the coins add on to it. So it's like if I make this right here, which I did. It adds those 30 coins that I just got to my score. 50 points. If you hold when you're on defense, you'll do that. And if you, after you do that, you just push down. Here, I'll show it. And it doesn't automatic dunk. You can't dunk from like the three point line or something. Uh, dunk all is like in the inner part of the circle. You hold this and then you swat down to do that. It. See, watch. Once it turns red, you smack it in her face and then she'll get on the ground. To throw an item, you just swipe the stylus forward. Come on, switch characters. Come on, come on. L button, work for me now. Yeah, my L button's not working too well lately. Jeez. Might have to use my little brother's DS to do this. But, yeah, you get the basic point. It's like, you have... Two quarters per per game. You can change how long they are, how short they are. Help button is instead of using the stylus, you can use uh, the buttons, which really sort of sucks. But ah, oh, crap. Never mind. Yes, I'm gonna return to the menu and show you this right here. Uh, your profile shows your rank and everything. Uh, shows what you can say my friend I chose Yossi and my friend decided to say I crap eggs and eat them sounds great good job Yossi crap eggs you eat them uh, you can choose your ball that's like the only thing you can unlock in this game a soccer ball for actually a football for all of you fans who call it nah whatever so confusing but whatever uh, matchup. Okay, this is where everything lacks. There's no Wi-Fi. Okay, ours is Coin Hunter and Dribble Race for DS download play. And DS to DS is the only thing where you can do exhibition matches. And who says you can do an exhibition match? Because nobody really plays this game anyway. Uh, there's tournament. This is where you can unlock characters, outfits, everything. And if you don't win, you have to replay it. That sort of sucks. Is this game wor really worth your money? I'd probably have to say no. It's fun for about a week, and then it gets dull. I'd say try it. It's sort of complicated, too. Okay, this is Gene, and I'm out.